Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games Little Time. My name is Joachim and today we will be unboxing City of the Great Machine. And this is one that I've really been looking forward to, so I can't wait to open this all up. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's uh, get cracking. So this is uh, from VFI, because I live in Hong Kong, uh, so it's always VFI then. So let's open it up. Wow, okay. It's just one big pack. There. That was easy. So um, I'm going to take off all the bubble wrap and then uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is everything that was in the box. So we have the City of the Great Machine, the Confrontation Kickstarter Exclusives Pack, the Escalation Kickstarter Exclusives Pack, the Stand-In Heroes Expansion, and the Escalation Expansion. Right. I should also mention that this is the Master of the City Pledge. Um, and it should also have the bring about a revolution module so uh, that is not here at the moment but maybe it's inside servants of the great machine module which is not here but maybe it's inside the oracle zeppelin module maybe it's inside the surveillance zeppelin module maybe it's inside the machine enhancement maybe it's inside and all unlocked stretch goals which i would have to check later okay so let's start opening it up and we'll start with the uh, main box and then go through everything else okay so before we continue i found this post on the kickstarter saying master of the city pledge consists of five positions city of the great machine the escalation expansion stand in heroes the conversation kickstarter exclusive pack and the escalation expansion kickstarter exclusive pack so that is basically what i needed to get get and that is also what i got so i guess they packaged it all up differently just to immediately clear that up all right, so this is the main box. Let's zoom in a little bit first. Okay, so City of the Great Machine by Ger German or German Tikomirov or Tikomirov. And then we'll turn it around and zoom out again so we can see the side of the box. As you can see, it looks pretty sweet. And here, I like it when boxes have different sides. All right. Okay, and then this is the back, so we'll zoom in again for that. So, one vs many, cooperative or solo. Uh, the city, great machine, the heroes, all the contents here. One to four players, 14 plus, 45, 10, 19 minutes. All right, so let's take a look at what's inside. So, I don't think uh, there will be art on the inside, but I hope I'm surprised. I'm, you know, I hope there is, but there's not. All right, so I'll put this here, so I can use it to show the rule book a little bit better. Okay, so the rule book is here. The game rules. I so like the aesthetics. It is so beautiful. It really reminds me of Arcanum, or Arcanum, uh, the RPG. If you ever played that. And of course, also uh, Bioshock. All right, the game round. Trust VS Bonds, Discontent Track, The Great Machine Phase, Special Actions. Just looking at this already makes me giddy. <laughs> the Great Machine's Turn Ends, The Heroes Phase. Yeah. Riots, active and inactive famous citizens, special hero actions, playing as revolutionary, victory in defeat, and the rules summary. Okay, and we have the reference guide. All right, so also the solo mode should be in here. So all the city events, directives, the heroes. Okay, the different setups. Game example, oh, I like this. So you can really see what happens. It's really nice to read that through before you start any game. Up to seven rounds, which is pretty cool. Yeah, nice. Soul and cooperative mode here. 
seems to be pretty extensive, which is always nice. In some cases, solo is sometimes just tacked on, but it's definitely not the case here, seems like. You never know until you play, but as you can see, there's quite it's a whole different rule book almost. Yeah. Nice, nice. And the reference for the solo and cooperative mode. Okay. And then some missions. Okay. All right, so then it's time for the punch board. So I'm going to move this to the side. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Sorry that I'm totally geeking out over this, but it is just really pretty. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Look at that. I really hope it lives up to the anticipation. All right, and for the rest of the stuff, I am going to sit down. So as you can see, there's a fair bit to go through here. Uh, let's start with these, because there's gonna be a bunch of miniatures as well. Those I'll use a different camera for, so that's gonna happen at the end. And I do mean all the miniatures of all the expansions as well. I'm gonna do them all in one go. So if you wanna see these and only those, you can skip forward to the miniatures part. So here we have the different locations, the Grand Citadel, the Tower of Law or LAW, so I guess the backside, is it always green? No, it's not always green. Some of them are orange. Okay. Control Nexus. Central Square. The Art District. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> the Science District. The Velvet District. Commerce District. This especially makes me think of Bioshock. Yeah. Industrial district. Okay, so those are different locations. Um, we have the cards. I'm gonna take all the cards out, put them on the side, and I'll remove all the plastic and go through them later. Okay, so here we have two dice. There we go. Different faces, looks nice, crisp and clean. Cool. I guess these go here. And um, by the way, for the uh, reboxing, uh, where to put everything, uh, online they said that there's no specific place for the stuff. I mean, some things are obvious where they should go, but in general, you just put everything wherever you want to. But nevertheless, I'm still going to uh, make a reboxing video at one point. So this is kind of cool. Like normally it's just these things you put in, but this one is really with, uh, yeah, it's a bit different than normal, right? Because it's, I guess it has different levels. So put that to the side, make sure I don't lose it because it's tiny. Okay, here are some tokens and the silica stuff. There we go. Cool. More tokens. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that these are guards. Uh, wow. There we go. And then uh, let's see if there's anything underneath here, the heroes and servants. No, just insert. And I always check if there's anything underneath here. Uh, there's always a risk that you might damage the box, to be honest. But, you know, if there are secrets, I want to know there's no secret. <laughs> okay. This has actually landed me in hot water before. Well, not really hot water, but people texted me like, could you please put a, put a spoiler? Because people are supposed to be at one point, you know, surprised that they find it. But then to me, it's like, when are people ever going to remove the insert? Unless, of course, it's specifically mentioned in the game. I don't know about that. Okay, so let's start with the expansion. So, first of all, the confrontation. So, uh, let's do this one. I'll take off the plastic. I'm going to take out the plastic. Oh, by the way, I forgot the cards. I forgot the cards. So, I'm going to take out the plastic of the cards and all the boxes and get back to you.
So let's take a look at the cards. Uh, this is the first deck that I'm going to check. Now, first of all, I'm going to look at the backs to differentiate. So these all seem quite similar. We have the city events. Uh, these are player aids, I'm sure. These are directives. <clears throat> so directives, I'm just going to look at the art. Okay, let's make that clear. I'm not going to go over what every card does. Just look at the art and maybe the name. So confiscate, levy, mechanize, optimize, pacify, provoke, reinforce, resettle, shadow, enhancement code. Con oh, the same thing again. All right, so these are the same. That makes it easy. All right, then we have the uh, player aids, hero actions, repositioning on the backside, hero actions one, because there's one and two, and game round, okay? Even the player aids look cool. My goodness, and the city events. So once again, this is just for the arts. So the countdown, establish the network, avoid the authorities, city council elections, fake innocence, retrials and bribes, Tug of Law and Tug of War, Clandestine Preparations, Blend in with the Crowd, Necessary Sacrifice, Distracting the Police, Reported by a Traitor, Deceive the Pursuers, Crowd Control, Lay Low, Fomenting Tension, Coordinated Actions. Yeah. All right. So then we have these cards here. They're the same but different. You can see C, B, A, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So these probably have to, you know, I don't know, I'm not going to guess. But art wise, there's nothing much on there, so I'm not going to go through them. Okay. Uh, yep. Then we have these small cards. We have all these with certain, well, similar backs, but the icons are different. And these seem to be kind of like locations, access cards. And all types of different access cards. Ah, okay. These are the cards for the characters. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So let's do these first. Ah, these are the backs. So the shoes are the backs. Even that looks cool. Sorry, I'm gushing about this. I'm really... If I did a top 10 of game, most beautiful games that I own, whew, definitely top five, if not top three. Yeah, nice. If you want to know who did the art, just check the uh, description below because the it's always there for every video. So access cards, I don't know the names yet of the people. So it's just basic locations, Art District, Central Square, Grand Citadel, Tower of Law. So art-wise, there's not much that difference, I think. So I don't think I have to go through all of them. You can see the characters. I think the back is always the same. Yeah, they might have different actions and so on, but like I said, we're not going to go over that. Otherwise, this video would take ages. And I think my unboxings are already quite thorough as they are. So just showing you what the characters look like all right and the last one yeah 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 cool 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 and then these here uh let's see these are all city big city events ah and these are the heroes okay and then the great machine phase stuff and enemies, I guess. All right, let's start with the heroes. We have Vega Vasquez, who is an actress. And this is the backstory that you can see here. All right. Sylvia Wu. There's not much difference on the back now. Kula McDouglas. Mustafa Azikwe. Olga de Troyes. And Mateusz Orzeszko. If I have butchered their names, I apologize. These seem to be also um, player aids, actually. Yeah, definitely player aids. Yes. Wow, nice. All right. And then these are the machines, minions, if I'm not mistaken. Judgmentor, Lex 
Hakate or Hakate. Phantasmur on the other side. Also the backstory. So I, I think it's cool that even they have a backstory. Oops. The uh, <laughs> the cover just fell down. All right. And again. Oh my goodness. Right, I'll put it somewhere else. Here. Okay. So if that gave you a fright, I am very sorry. That was not the intention, obviously. So city events here. So once again, we're just going to look at I'm not going to read what it says. So concentration of force. I mean, I'm not going to read what it says here. Flying carpets. Join our side. No one is safe. Oppression and, op and opposition. Ready for emergency. Security checks. Stalkers versus sentinels. Ostentatious amnesty. Win over the judges. Bread and circuses. House to house searches. Down by law. Order versus disorder, open your mind, and the rest will follow. Anyway, liberty of trade, public execution, sneaking through security, trust versus bonds, citywide maintenance, and the countdown. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, if it was food, it would already be in my belly. All right, so here we have the confrontation Kickstarter exclusive, exclusive pack. I'm going to go a little bit closer and uh, move maybe some stuff out of the shot just a little bit not much there we go and we'll need to stop the video for that so we have the confrontation now this will get uh, recycled okay but I'll show you the sides anyway uh, just because I always do and I'm sure some of you will keep the box but I for sure will not so it has mission cards, the Zeppelin district tile, city event cards, and so on, blah, blah, blah. Let's just see what's inside. Ta-da! The first thing is an ad for Thaumaturgy. Yeah. If you want to check it out, you can scan the QR code. Anyway, uh, that can go. And then here we have the game rules for the Confrontation Kickstarter exclusives pack. So let's take a look. The Zeppelin, uh, more events, On the Verge, Oracle Zeppelin, it's a module. Yeah, that's how it all works. Flying on board of the Zeppelin, the Eye of the Oracle, Soul and Cooperative Mode, the Oracle Zeppelin. Okay, just look at the eye. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> Does it have a mini? I don't think it has a mini. Or maybe maybe later. Oh no, it's it's a board. It's just a board. Okay, so this is the envelope. I think I just saw something about the sealed envelope. Am I supposed to open it or not? Because I don't want to open something I'm not supposed to. Do not unseal the envelope after receiving it. It contains a secret improvement for the great machine, and your task is to uncover the secrets. Okay, so you have to. All right, cool. So you might have noticed a special card among the directive cards in the core game box. I did. It provides instructions for the players who are not part of the City of the Great Machine Kickstarter campaign and do not have an envelope. Okay. So um, basically, so first you will need to decipher the code that is encrypted at the bottom of the nine directive cards and send your answer to the uh, email. We'll respond soon thereafter. You may unseal the envelope only after our confirmation that you've deciphered the code correctly. So I won't spoil anything here, even if I find it. Please don't post the result online anywhere and do not tell anyone about the contents of the envelope. We ask you to give others a chance to decipher the code for themselves. I understand and I will not. And uh, it is frustrating and not everybody likes riddles, they say. If you don't want to do it, uh, you can unseal the envelope after you have played the game five times. Uh, and then there's a hint. I'm not going to read the hint. I don't want to read it yet. Okay, so on the verge. Yeah, so I, I did already. So this envelope, I'm going to go so far as to actually keep it in the plastic. That's, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So I can't show you, I can show you that it's probably a bunch of cards because it's kind of thick. It's a machine improvement, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. That's really cool, actually. Really, really cool. All right, so there's some cards in here, some new access cards. So basically, the uh, heroes will all get a new card. 
And, uh, and that's it. This one is new, but that's because of the expansion heroes, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, put this to the side for now. Then we have the Zeppelin cards that also, you know, the ABC cards from before. The Zeppelin has that too. All right. And then we have the city event cards. My apologies for the sound, but I'm not going to stop the video for this. So we have tactical retreats, cat and mouse game. Oh, that's so awesome. Look at the paw. <laughs> Empathy and isolation, the grindstones of law, organized resistance and growing network. Yes, so, so very cool. And then, of course, the Oracle Zeppelin board. Yeah, that's so creepy. Okay, so I'll put it with the other ones, actually. All right, so this I'm going to immediately throw away. Uh, it's, it feels like a shame, but, you know, space comes at a premium. And at the moment, it is really comes as a premium for me. All right, so these are the stand-in heroes. Now, I said I'm going to do miniatures at the end, but I'm just going to check if there's anything else in there. So, here we see. I think there should probably be the cards of those heroes. Okay. The four, right? This is the back. So we have Gertrude Tomahawk, the mercenary. Arjana Varma, the huntress, or Ariana. Lucas Aberstein, the impresario. Lillian De Falco, the psychiatrist. Magnus Edison, the researcher, and Janko Kaldarash, the maverick. All right, so let's open it up. And limited printing, so get them while they're hot, I guess. Okay. So like I said, the miniatures are for later, the detailed ones. So I'm just going to look at the little booklet here, the rules. Okay. And it just basically gives more information about how to play with them, like tactically and everything, which I like as well. Because sometimes for people, uh, including myself at times, it's a bit difficult to immediately know how a character works. So it's always nice to have some, some kind of a guide. Okay, so here we have Ariana, Lucas, Yanko, Gertrude, or Gertrude, Lillian, Magnus, and then Ariana again. And of course, they all have their own uh, cards that I'll show. You could argue there's not much to show because, you know, it's just always the same back, but... Oh, the rose is cool. Oh, so these don't actually have their face on it or whatever. It is just a symbol. No. That's new. Okay. I guess it's because they use the same deck as somebody else because there's six heroes but only three deck, three decks here i'm sure it's like that okay so put this on the side as well maybe on the other side actually i'll just put it in the box for now even though like i said i will make a reboxing and i imagine this will go in but maybe this will just fit in the box as a whole so yeah i'll leave it off for now Save me some work. All right, then we have the escalation. Um, this is a small one. There's a bigger one over there, but we'll do the small one first. Oh, sorry, I was going to show the sides. So sides are nothing special. The back, just exclusive components for the Bring About Revolution and the Servants of the Great Machine modules of the Escalation Expansion. With the exception of the alternative servant cards, all components may be used in both 1vs many and solo and cooperative mode. Okie dokie. So, up, I have this here. Very cool. Then we have uh, access cards. 
the same back as that other one with the three different people on it. But the this this card, the access card, that has to do with um, the uh, escalation expansion because those heroes are actually in there. Here we go. So these are well a bunch of stuff theory machine theory and then the exclusives here yeah julie the smuggler bring about revolution invention but this is a direct a divya tech divya tech oh yes creation exclusives yeah okay cool i guess it'll make sense later on and then, does this mean that you can play with these guys as heroes? Probably not. <laughs> no. No, 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 you cannot. It just gives them more skills, apparently. Because it says here, when a uh, judgmentor organizes a raid, the great machine may pay one additional bond. Discontent does not increase if this raid fails. So, yeah, it just gives them more stuff. Maybe it's just alternative stuff. Yeah. Nice. Cool. And then we have the last part, but of course we're still going to do the miniatures later on. Oh, the escalation expansion, and of course we'll do the sides. So now we do have the heroes and some enemies as well. And the back, here we go. So the struggle between the resistance and the great machine enters a whole new level. New heroes with unique, unique abilities join the side of revolution, while the great machine enhances its servants with powerful implants and sends its new secret, secretly trained servant into the field. The governmental surveillance Zebelin now cruises over the city, opening up new opportunities for both sides of the conflict. So it's basically four modules, suitable for one versus, versus many and solo and cooperative play. Nice. Okie dokie. Let's open it up. Once again, my aim is to put this all in the main box. Nothing, no art there. Let's take a look at the rule book. Okay, the new heroes, the new servant. Oh, that's cool. The surveillance Zeppelin. Oh, I can't wait to play this. I'm just sitting here with the biggest smile. <laughs> Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm, I apologize. If, if you you don't have your copy yet, just uh, see it as a positive way, you know. You're going to have that same feeling when you get it. And absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? Uh, okay, cool. And then we have the soul and cooperative rules. So these are always come with missions, apparently, and scenarios. All right, and then let's see what else is in here. More tokens. Once again, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And then here, oh, there's the other way around. Here, so cool. Yeah. And then move this out of the way. Okay, no, don't touch the Zeppelin yet, it's for later. Okay, so. Okay, so we have Chronolian. Chronolian. We have Determinist Indiku. Inventor Akira Wa Wagner, Smuggler Julie Corvus, Judge Mentor. So he just has different skills then. So in this case, he's treated as an extra guard for hero actions. So there's so many variable ways of uh, these guys apparently fighting them. Here you go, Corleone with another one. Judge Mentor with another one. She has another one. He has another one. Uh, and, have, and then there's explanation of how to use Chronolian's uh, search tokens. 
Okay, cool. And of course, all these people introduce a bunch of new cards as well. So these are theories cards. Now, I'm guessing this is something new, right? Emotion theory, chaos theory, rel relativity theory, probability theory, sociological theory, behavior theory, and government theory. Cool. And then here we have these cards. Uh, so once again, is how they act or what they do or, and so on. So we'll, we'll look at the backs because some of them are different like here. And this one for the Zeppelin. Nice. I wonder if you can shoot it down. <laughs> All right. Internal scenario reference card. And then here are the our inventions. Okay. Jump pack, hyperbolic emitter, communicator, probabilitator, disruption field, empathizer, jammer. I like the empathizer. <laughs> okay. And then, yay, a new die. Cool. Very nice. Goes in there. If, of course, well, I imagine I keep this because otherwise these, uh, I hope it fits in, no, this, I don't know if it's going to fit actually. This box I might have to keep simply because otherwise the miniatures will be in there loose. Unless they have a place for them, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. All right. Access cards, so these basically apply to all of them. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that is all the regular stuff. So now we're gonna do the miniatures, but like I said, for that, I have to change cameras. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at the minis. First we'll do the heroes and servants of the base game. And uh, all right. This is the first one. I think they look nice. Seems well detailed. Could always be more, but I think once painted, it's gonna look really, really nice on the board. That's already that beautiful. It does give a little bit of stress though. If the board is that beautiful, you want your minis to, uh, to be of the same quality. So uh, it'd be a real shame if they're not. <laughs> I think, I think the quality is good, especially for the size. Because these are not especially tall. They're not small either. I think, that, yeah, just maybe a little bit smaller than usual, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too harsh. This one is really cool, though. Yeah. Badass. So what I like is, so these are basically the agents of the machine, right? but they are darker shade of gray. So even if you play with them unpainted, you can still tell the difference. I really like that. I really like that they went through that uh, effort to make them uh, look like that. Even if you don't paint them, it's still easy to tell them apart. And the uh, characters are different enough in pose and looks that I think you should be able to tell the heroes apart as well. This one looks really cool. This crossbow. And then here yeah, with the book. Very nice. Yeah. And then here we have the last one from the base game. Okay, that's the base game. Then we have the Escalation Expansion. And first we have the Zeppelin. I probably should have finished with that, but yeah, I just wanted to look at it faster. <laughs> look at his beauty. Very nice. Yeah. Wait, the weight is okay. Oh, by the way, it has a stand that I didn't show before. 
And then once again, because it's an agent, darker shade of gray. Yeah, very cool. I think the detail is actually really good. Yeah. Okay. And then two more from this set. Scientist. Okay. And then the last one. Yeah, very cool. Okay. And then we have six more from the uh, Stand In Heroes. This is also cool, gunslinger style. Here we, here we go. The afro is really cool. Yeah. And the next one. You could be looking at a uh, at a flask to drink or to do experiments. <laughs> okay, and then there's the next one. Uh, it's like the equivalent of a bard, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying, a bard. I thought it was a musical instrument, but it's not. Definitely not a bard. <laughs> okay. Yep. Next. All right, and then the last one to conclude the uh, unboxing. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. All right, so basically that was it. This was the unboxing of City of the Great Machine. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, there will definitely be playthroughs of this 100 million percent sure. Um, hopefully with other people even, uh, if I find the time. Because as you know, I always record late at night. So uh, anyway, I um, hope you enjoyed it and uh, feel free to stick around. And uh, that'll be it. My name is Joachim and always will be. There's so many games all the time. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>